Hi friends, my name is Nandita. I am from Andhra Pradesh. Good morning dear students. In this section you will learn about the living organisms, characteristics and habitats. Children, different regions in the world have various types of living creatures called as organisms. An organism is simply defined as any living thing, ranging from microscopic bacteria to a large elephant and everything in between. So, different types of plants and animals are found in different areas. Examples like we can find the camel and cactus plant in desert areas. Beaches show a coconut trees and crabs. Fishes and other marine animals inhabited in the sea. Children, we see many things around us which can be grouped into two groups based on their characteristics these are called as living and non living things for example men dogs goats cats ants plants and trees etc are some of the living things car plastic goods stones doors etc are some of the non living things children the presence of some specific features and certain habits which allow an organism to live in its habit is called as adaptation organisms show adaptations according to their habitat now let us see what is habitat habitat the surrounding in which a living being lives is called its habitat for example the pond is the habitat for frog our home is our habitat it tree is the habitat for a squirrel therefore the habitats mainly divided into two groups they are terrestrial habitat and aquatic habitat now let us discuss about terrestrial and aquatic habitat the habitat on the land it is called as terrestrial habitat the terrestrial habitat can be further categorized into forest grassland coastal mountain and desert habitats now let us see the definition of aquatic habitat the habitat in water is called as aquatic habitat the aquatic habitat further can be categorized into oceans rivers lakes ponds and swamps components of this habitats as again comes under two categories there are two main components of this habitats and these are called as biotic and abiotic biotic components the living beings make the biotic components of the habitat plants and animals are the examples of biotic components abiotic components the non living things makes the abiotic components of a habitat such as soil air water temperature these all are comes under the abiotic components a abiotic component provide necessary raw material and conditions for the living beings to survive for example most of the plants need soil for anchorage more soil also provide them with water and necessary minerals most of the terrestrial animals live on soil similarly water and air are the necessary for living beings to survive now let us discuss in detail about terrestrial habitats and types of terrestrial habitat children the terrestrial habitat means already we discussed that it refers to land where all the plants and animals survive animals and plants which live on land are called as terrestrial animals and terrestrial plants and this uh, terrestrial habitat further classified into four groups mainly forest habitat grassland habitat desert habitat mountain habitat and polar region habitat let us discuss about grassland habitat grasslands many animals live in the grasslands and in forest the climate is warm and food is available in good amount of these habitats but because of heavy population the competition for food and other other resources is tough in the grassland and forest habitats let us take the examples of some animals to understand the adaptation for grassland habitats 
लायन ए लायन इज ए फिरोसियस हंटर इट इज स्ट्रॉंग बिकॉज ए मस इट इज हैविंग ए मस्कुलर बॉडी द शार्प क्लाउज ऑफ लायन हेल्प दम इन किलिंग ए प्रे दिस क्लाउज रिट्रैक्ट इन साइड वेन दे आर रनिंग एंड दोस ए लायन कैन वॉक विदाउट मेकिंग ए नॉइस द कलर ऑफ द लायन इज पेल येलो विच मिक्सेस विद द कलर ऑफ ड्राई ग्रैस एंड रॉक्स दोस द बॉडी कलर ऑफ लायन हेल्प्स इट इन हाइडिंग फ्रॉम इट्स स्प्रे tiger a tiger is a good hunter as a lion the black stripes on the body of tiger look like grasses uh, to its prey deer a deer is fastest runner it can sprint very fast to save itself from a predator a deer has a very good hearing ability which helps it in hearing the steps of an approaching predator the eyes of the deer are on the side of its head the position of the deer eyes helps it in seeing a predator coming from behind now let us discuss about desert habitats some examples of desert habitat living beings in the desert are as follows let us discuss about adaptation in camel camels are synonymous with a hot desert a camel shows many adaptations which help it to live in the hottest desert the paddy feet of camel help it in easily walking on the sand a camel has long eyelashes which prevent the sand from getting into its eyes a camel can drink lots of water at one go and can go on for many days without drinking the water the camel produces dry dung and a very little urine in order to conserve water small creatures living in desert have hard scales on the body which help in preventing the loss of water due to the heat animals like rats and snakes stay in burrows deep in the sand to stay away from the intense heat during the day time these creatures usually hide in the shadow during the day time and come out during the night time let us discuss about adaptation in desert plants desert plants have a very deep roots so that they can assist water from the great depths leaves of some desert plants are modified into spine like structures this helps in preventing water loss by way of transpiration stems of desert plants are modified into leaf like structures such stems are spongy and they have a coating of wax over them the wax coating prevents evaporation and spongy inside helps in storing lot of water now let us discuss about forest habitat forest and woody lands are places where there are mostly trees there are many different kinds of forest in different climates but trees are one thing they have in common forest provide everything that the creature who lived there need food water and shelter forest can be hot or cold with different kinds of trees in different climates around the world there are deciduous forest coniferous forests and rainforest children let us discuss about the uh, raccoons raccoons lives in forest among other places raccoons often make their dens in trees they sleep during the day time and move around at night they eat almost anything including plants bugs and small animals babies are born in the spring season after few months they begin going out at the night with their mothers she teaches them how to feed themselves and stay safe they remain with her for many months raccoons are an important part of the forest habitat now let us discuss about uh, habitat in mountain regions children these habitats are normally very cold or windy in some areas snowfall may takes place in winter season there is a large variety of plants and animals living in this mountain regions if you live in a mountain region or if you have visited any time you may have seen a large number of trees which are in cone shaped how these trees are adapted to these conditions prevailing in their habitat let us discuss 
these trees are normally looks like in cone shaped and they having sloping branches the leaves of these trees are look like needle and this helps the rain water and snow to slide off easily there could be trees with shapes very different from these that they are also present on mountain regions animals living in the mountain regions are also adapted to the conditions there they have thick skin or fur to protect them from the cold for example yaks have long hair to keep them warm snow leopard has a thick fur on its body including feet and toes this protects its feet from the cold when it walks on the snow the mountain goats has strong hooves for running up the rocky slopes in of the mountain as we we grow up in the mountain regions the surroundings change and we see different kinds of adaptations at different hi- heights now let us discuss about polar habitat polar habitats are located at very top and very bottom of the earth there are cloud windy and have a lot of snow and ice It's too cold for trees to grow but there are some trees such as moss and lichen in tundra areas most are ca- carnivorous due to the lack of plants and they tend to live in snow caves or holes for the shelter the animals are mostly carnivorous and they have thick fur to survive in the cold some blend in ice and some may hibernate in the coldest months like bear Examples of these habitat animals are polar bears, penguins, etc. Children, now let us discuss about rainforest habitat. This habitat receives a lot of rain and hence it rich in animal life. Mammals, amphibians, reptiles and all sort of animals are found here. The climate is hot and humid and animals have to learn to adapt to survive in these areas.